There are two things that I actually do as part of my day job. Uh, most of my time actually gets spent as part of the Google Developers Agency program. Uh, so Parul here, for example, is a regional lead for India handling that program, and I'm managing that program in US, where we work with top agencies who are building Android and iOS apps, and make sure that they are upskilled on the latest technologies and design principles. Uh, another part of my job, spend generally more than 20% of my time, is on the Firebase go-to-market strategy. So there's a group of us who meet pretty regularly, once, twice a week, and look at and understand how Firebase is being used, how it's being adopted, what are the feature requests that are coming in, how it needs to be positioned. And based on that, I've spent a lot of time in this product uh, for almost a year plus now. Firebase was acquired by Google a couple of years ago, and last year at I.O., you actually saw the big announcements. Firebase was launched in a big way, and the adoption uh, in the communities has been phenomenal. You know, people love that as a product. It you know, meets the needs of developers and businesses, and it's easy to use and easy to get started. So Firebase uh, as a product, uh, when we acquired, basically was real-time databases, authentication, hosting, and storage. This was like the four core fundamental things. Uh, and when we released it at I.O. last year, uh, we actually provided a very comprehensive story. So we stitched all the pieces that were required, not just for the developer audiences, but something that makes your app successful. And that's the key thing. Uh, everything that uh, a developer, a tester, a person who's responsible for quality, somebody who's responsible for growth, for monetization, finds everything in one place, which was the key thing. You know, a lot of these pieces existed in different dimensions and different consoles. But the idea was to put everything together and provide one comprehensive view. Uh, another thing before I jumped into some of these slides, which you've probably seen and presented as well, this is also a very comprehensive story that goes beyond just the Android platform. So practically, every feature works the same way uh, on iOS. And a very large number of features work that people are using on the web as well. And there are continuous investments that the team has been making to improve the product over the time since it was uh, announced as the second generation at I.O. You'll probably see a few more interesting announcements in the next few weeks as well as you know, the company gets prepared for I.O., the next um, I.O., as well as uh, a couple of other events. So stay tuned if this is something of interest. A lot of stuff is happening. Everything around Firebase we know has been stretched around analytics. This was you know, the foundation of how every piece joins together. Uh, and it is one of the interesting things is also free and unlimited. This was something that surprised a lot of people. They keep wondering, like, there must be a catch. And like, no, there is no catch. It's free and unlimited. You can you know, use this as much as you want. A uh, lot of other ease of use features, something like this. This is from a game. And all you had to do was integrate the SDK without ri writing a line of code. Uh, you get a dashboard that's ready to use. You know, a lot of people sometimes I found struggled initially, like, what, what should I be tracking? You know, just figuring that out can be hard. So the SDK did an easy job of saying, OK, don't think about it. We'll give you something to start with as you refine these numbers and as you understand what other information you actually need. Uh, in terms of developing some of the features, and this is like the chunk of features, and a lot of you probably in this room uh, are more familiar, um, and I'm sure more expert in some of these features than I am as well. Um, but the real-time database still remains the foundation of what Firebase gets used a lot. So analytics, definitely. And then it's a real-time database. Uh, we've seen tons of apps that have come out uh, showing the capabilities of how easy it is to make apps that are distributed, apps that can be offline, apps that can work across different platforms and still share the same common data repository. So this, this has really opened up uh, applications and developers to a different kind of opportunity altogether. Uh, offline, if somebody had to do offline uh, before Firebase was around, a lot of lines of code. I mean, just thinking about all the scenarios that you had to deal with, literally this is out of the box experience for most people. Another common issue that a lot of developers faced was, I need to get people signed in. I need to you know, find out who my users is. And they have to think about usernames, passwords. Everybody is doing that. Every app does that. So why not provide that as a service? 
So this is another one of the things that has been extremely popular and the most common sign-in uh, capabilities are supported by the product out of the box. Uh, hosting, again, makes life very simple. You publish something, you write, you know, set up your database, say host it, literally a click of a button, and you have your app available for people to start using. Uh, these are little things, but you can see in the day of the life of a developer, make a huge difference uh, in terms of how you're spending your time and what you're worried about. You should be thinking about your app, not some of these infrastructure challenges. Storage, you know, is something that everybody needs. You know, you've got pictures. These days, pictures by far take the most amount of storage, but then you have tons of other data as well. And it makes it really easy when you have the infrastructure of Google to support some of these things. So in terms of both speed and reliability and the unlimited storage and how fast data can move back and forth, Firebase again integrates everything for you. Uh, connecting with your users through Firebase Cloud Messaging, another one of those you know, free features that you can use across different platforms, uh, gets very, very popular with users as they're building apps that need to reach out uh, to the users. This is another popular feature with especially product managers uh, you know, who are trying to tinker and try to see, you know, if I make this change, you know, how does it impact certain aspect or usage of my application? A lot of this you can now do on the server side, which means you don't have to push updates. Go to the console, make a few changes, and you can also see how some of the changes are impacting because it's very tightly integrated with analytics. Uh, so again, you can see a different audience being addressed by that. A uh, lot of people find this useful, and you know, I'll talk about a few changes that have happened here. Test lab for Android, and I think this is one of the only features that I can say runs on Android, and it's not on iOS right now. Uh, but you can actually run tests on physical devices, devices that are running on Google infrastructure, physical devices, and get your results out pretty quickly. Really hard to maintain the kind of inventory sometimes that you require. Crash reporting, uh, nobody wants bad apps. Number one reason why your apps get poor ratings and reviews is your apps crashing. You don't want to be thinking you know, what really happened. You need to get data. You need to get data really fast so that you can respond to your customers and fix those issues. So again, a native you know, feature of Firebase today. In terms of growing your business, you know, it's, coding is fun. We all love to code, but it's not going to feed you. You know, you've got to grow your business. You've got to make some money. Uh, and that's where a lot of the grow services have been integrated in the products. Uh, you know, making it easy to invite people, you know, sharing your app. You know, it's one click. Hey, I, I'm a user. Send it to all your friends. They get invites that are available, uh, and your popularity of the app can grow. You've got dynamic links. You know, linking parts of the application and directly sending a URL. You can get a very interesting personalized experiences around uh, how the information of the app gets exchanged. Making money through Google AdWords, uh, you know, this is one of the things you can do. Run your campaigns. Um, it helps you grow your businesses. You can promote your application very tightly integrated with Firebase. App indexing brings the ease of, you know, people have hundreds of apps, right? And I keep looking for things on my phone, and sometimes the data is in the app. And with app indexing, it makes it much natural and easy as you're searching to something. If it's inside your app, it brings up your app much more quicker, and you have the person go back. So it's more of, you know, bringing back your user experience as well. Uh, providing notifications, you know, again, this is something that product managers are loving as well. You can set it through the UI itself, broadcast a set of messages to a set of users, uh, and communicate anything, a promo that's happening or a certain uh, feature that you want to advertise. Uh, earning, uh, I heard yesterday also, you know, the app you know, that people use that you have ads that are coming in, it's a great way to monetize, right? It's a delicate balance at times between, you know, having too many ads and, you know, not having ads and you find the sweet spot there. But it's something that's available. Uh, you could definitely use the ad mob uh, capabilities uh, and make money as well, Other, a, apart from just selling your app as well. Uh, this was something uh, we talked about at the summit, which happened, the Firebase summit that happened in November, a couple of months back. A lot of new enhancements were announced in, in that uh, particular release. Uh, some of you might have already done and talked about these uh, sessions as well. So again, uh, crash reporting has in, improved. One of the big asks there was, we need much faster data. So I think now the lag time is about 20 minutes. Uh, so if a crash happens, you'll have the data about that in about 20 minutes. And you can see 
uh, much tighter integration with analytics uh, and crash reporting. Test Lab has been increased, uh, the number of device support, 7.1 support, and there's also free trial pricing that's available. So you can you know, try this thing. Uh, earlier it was only in a feature that was available as part of the paid offering. Uh, cloud messaging now is available for the JavaScript for the web client as well. Uh, you know, a lot of people are using Firebase for doing, uh, you know, making web applications. So trying to bring a little more parity there is critical. Uh, the UI library makes it very interesting now to have consistent experience as you're doing thinking through the authentication workflow. So uh, again, making that, uh, you know, taking some of that pain away from developer makes things very easy. And again, it's a complete cross-platform solution. A lot of people still like to do command line. So you know, you have the Firebase command line interface, admin SDK, it makes it much easier for you to plug in a lot of systems that work through scripts to automate uh, these experiences. Game developers, uh, Unity plugin, C++ SDK, if you're still doing, uh, you know, or your communities are doing that, this is something they'll find very, very useful. We've got a lot of requests from game developers. Uh, I don't know how many of you are familiar with these two offerings. One is that there is actually a complete demo project that you can use, you know, just to learn, experience. It's full of data. It's based on a game called Flooded. Uh, so you can see, you know, as that game is used in real time, you can see how things are happening. You can explore, uh, you know, the complete Firebase experience. Because when you build a small app and try it out, it takes a long time before you have meaningful data. So encourage, you know, I encourage you to try this as well as, you know, have other people look at this to very quickly get familiar with all the capabilities of Firebase. And then there's the uh, new Udacity course that was announced at the same time. Uh, it's about uh, uh, learning Firebase in a weekend. Like this is perfect for a community initiative. You know, this is literally a, a program that you can finish four hours on one day, four hours on the next day. If you want to bring people together in a room and do that, that's great. Or you can encourage people to just go online, sign up for this, and very quickly get up to speed. In addition, you know, we've always had the traditional hands-on labs that are available both for iOS, um, Android, and web that we encourage you to Try and you know, spread the word with your communities as well. So over to you. And again, thank you once again and representing the Firebase team. So thank you uh, for all the work that you have been doing with your communities. So.